Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are here and those of you who are joining us from around the country. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery on behalf of the Toowoomba Regional Council. My name is Sue Lostro and I'm Council's Coordinator of Art Galleries and Cultural Services. Uh, I would like to introduce Kim Wormsley, a dear friend of the gallery, to acknowledge country. Kim is a descendant of the Mananjali people of Bow Desert. We have a beautiful mural on our building by Kim, so if you're ever in Toowoomba, you've got to see cultural census. And we're really proud to have her with us this evening. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Sue. Jingri and Minyangu, Toowoomba in Australia. Thank you for the lovely intro, and thank you for inviting me to be here on such a special occasion in support of this amazing exhibition of the Biennial Jury Award and Exhibition and its first year of streaming. Congratulations. Lucky me, as I got told it was going national five minutes ago, so I'm glad I didn't wear my daggy clothes. I'm a passionate Mananjali woman, an artist who has called Toowoomba home for 21 years. And it has grown so much and that diversity is rich and full of vibrant creatives. It's all very exciting. We are so lucky in Toowoomba to have such unique fine works on display made by very talented peeps around this beautiful country of ours. Thank you to the artists, the gallery for the display of this gorgeousness. The selection panel wouldn't want to be you, it's a hard choice in there. I can't wait to see the rest and absorb it into my spirit as we all will tonight. Connect with a piece that tells a story and truly see it. Congratulations to the artisans and all involved. To create such wonder is not easy. As an artist, I know that we are our own worst enemies at times, yet when it's hanging in glory, we often can stand in awe saying to ourselves, did I do that? The pleasure in working as an artist, and not sure if other artists here tonight agree with me, it's about sharing it. It's about letting go and talking about the journey that was creating what you see. That's what makes it amazing. As we plot through what is becoming the new world, we have to remember the world needs us. The world needs our art, our stories, our unique ways of knowing and being and telling story. As you keep creating, remember we are all in this together and through art, no matter the medium, we are keeping the world spinning. It is with great pleasure that I would like to acknowledge all our ancestors, our shared history, stories and memories that live and keep living within all of us. This is the lands of the Jadawa, Gaibal and Waka Waka peoples. I would like to pay my respects to them, the spirits of my ancestors here today and across this nation. To you all, let's keep doing what we do well, create and keep our culture alive. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kim. Now, I need to acknowledge the VIPs in the room. I think the first VIPs we need to acknowledge are the actual makers who are here. There's a small handful of you, but we'll have a big welcome, please. Big applause. Uh, Mayor of the Toowoomba Region, Councillor Paul Antonio. Councillor Melissa Taylor. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Manager of Library and Cultural Services for Toowoomba Regional Council, Bronwyn Herbert. The magnificent art gallery team. And last but not very least, this year's award judge, Barbara Heath, and her creative partner, Malcolm en El Enright. Welcome. The gallery acknowledges the efforts of the selection panel for this year's award exhibition. Marion Hosking, one of Australia's most respected metalsmiths and dear friend of TRAG, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw, Senior Lecturer and Convener of Jewellery and Small Objects at Queensland College of the Art, Griffith University. Dr. Nicholas Baston, Lecturer Gold and Silversmithing School of Art, RMIT University. You guys provided us with a persuasive selection of works to form our exhibition, and we are really sincerely grateful for your effort. Thank you. I'm thrilled to welcome everyone joining us via live stream. This is our first foray into this space and it seems like a really beautiful, inclusive way to have everyone with us 
from wherever you are bunkered down at this time. So welcome everyone. I usually at this point would announce apologies, but because we're live streaming, there are no apologies. If you're not here, you're on a screen. It's fantastic. Ah, so that's really exciting. And now I'd like to introduce our mayor to actually make a few comments. We, you're a really valued supporter of us and what we do, and we're really grateful because it's carnival time in Toowoomba. And the mayor's a bit busy at the moment, so we're, we're really wrapped that you've had some time to come along and make some remarks. And a little later in the proceedings, the mayor will announce the acquired works. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Sue. And can I recognise you for starters as the, not only the MC tonight, but somebody who I regard as uh, one of my very special friends. And I thank you very much for the work that you do for this community. Uh, can I too acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and pay my respects to elders uh, past, present and emerging? Can I recognise the distinguished guests who are here, my fellow councillor, Councillor Melissa Taylor? Uh, can I also recognise the contemporary wearable 21 judge, Barbara Heath? Can I recognise the contemporary jewellers, all who are here, the TRC staff, particularly the regional art gallery people and ladies and gentlemen? Well, tonight's presentation is the prestigious, of the prestigious Contemporary Wearables 21 Award and the announcement of the acquisitions is Toowoomba Regional's Art Gallery's chance to shine before a national audience. And for those who are watching on stream, you're watching an art gallery in, a, in an art gallery in Australia's largest non-capital inland city but also today, of course, and two days ago, we began to celebrate that wonderful event that we're so well known for, that's gone on for over 70 years, our Carnival of Flowers. And for those who can't see what's happening in the gardens in Toowoomba, please make sure you have a good look. But I want to extend a warm Toowoomba greeting to everyone at the gallery and to viewers who are watching our inaugural live stream around Australia. And on behalf of my council colleagues, I'm delighted to welcome you to this evening's presentation. The enduring success and stature of the awards and the exhibition is a proud legacy of the former Toowoomba Gallery Society Incorporated. On behalf of the council, I thank all former Gallery Society members, not only for their enthusiasm, but their drive to launch the biennial awards and exhibition starting in 1989. The fact that a record 125 entries were submitted from all points of Australia this year is testament to the foundation set by the former Gallery Society with the support, of course, of our gallery staff. It is my pleasure to welcome and thank the jurors who pre-selected this year's award, Dr Elizabeth Shaw, Marion Hosking and Dr Nic Nicholas Baston. We are extremely fortunate to have such distinguished jurors lending their expertise to this biennial award and exhibition. Can I also thank and acknowledge our 2021 judge, Barbara Heath, and appreciate the difficult task you've had, Barbara. <laughs> Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery is grateful to all of you for contributing to the success of this year's award and this year's exhibition. This is a major Toowoomba Regional Council funded initiative for contemporary visual art practice in our gallery program. The art exhibition is curated by the Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery, which is owned and managed by our, the Toowoomba Regional Council. This distinctive exhibition showcases the work of Australia's prominent and emerging contemporary makers, jewellery makers. It is a highly regarded forum for experimental and innovative contemporary jewellery and object practice. Visitors to the gallery will have the chance to see pieces which have been created by 39 artists from around Australia until the 31st of October this year. Apart from displaying the exhibition, the Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery will acquire pieces to become part of one of Australia's leading contemporary jewellery collections. The collection is owned by TRC, housed at the Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery and managed, of course, by our very valuable gallery team. 
Council is very fortunate to be able to fund acquisitions through the legacy from a former Toowoomba Gallery Society Incorporated. I acknowledge every artist who was represented in this year's exhibition and congratulate our winners who will be named soon. The latest exhibition will broaden many definitions of contemporary jewellery. At times of lockdown and uncertainty, it is refreshing to be amazed by the artistic skill and the imagination of our most creative minds. I'm sure the Contemporary Wearables 21 Award winners, acquisition pieces and exhibition will amaze, delight and inspire audiences for a long time to come. Thank you to the gallery staff and volunteers for your work to stage this event the additional, amid the additional health requirements. As our month-long Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers unfolds, I also remind residents to visit the annual Toowoomba Ikebana group display at the gallery. I acknowledge the contribution of the group members, Nita Obst, Dorothy Harmon, Elizabeth Ising, for, Isaac, for, for once again bringing the gallery to life over the carnival period. The front window display will be featured for the entire carnival and the space we occupy, we occupying this evening, will be transformed in the coming days. This live display will be on show from September the 10th to September the 26th. Once again, can I express my grateful thanks to the gallery team and can I congratulate all the contemporary wearable 21 exhibitors on tonight's award and tonight's award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your presence here today. Thank you. thank you very much, Mayor Antonio. Now, what you're all waiting for. We're joined this evening by Barbara Heath, a Brisbane-based jewellery designer, exhibitor and public sculptor. Her practice, Jeweller to the Lost, reflects on the symbolic and historic derivations of adornment and fashion. A majority of Barbara's work comprises commissioned one-off pieces that arise from discussions and development with individual clients on a personal level. She produces beautiful bespoke works, richly layered with associations and meanings. Barbara's work has been exhibited nationally and internationally, and she is represented in many public and private collections around the world. I invite Barbara to the microphone to share some comments about the award, the exhibition, and of course, to let us know who the awardees are. Welcome, Barbara. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mayor Antonio, Sue, and the staff uh, for helping me with this uh, big project. Contemporary jewellery is Jewellery made by artists, made now in this time. Small in scale, worn close to the body, intimately important to us, carrying meaning in a wordless way. We conjure these objects up carefully. There is intention here. Forty artists are speaking here through their materials in this time when there is trouble to be reckoned with. There are dark themes, here are dark themes of fear and uncertainty and an ache to express these, evidenced in each artist's statement, their intention manifest. Time and process, the attending to materials often resolves pain and results in objects of profound beauty. I've been called to judge these works. How do you do that? This is an award exhibition. When in doubt, use a methodology. I've taken five aspects. The text, the make, the look, the finesse, and the wearability, and given equal weight to each aspect to assess and to score each work. Not everyone can be the winner. Congratulations and thank you to all the artists. Your support for contemporary wearables is so important to our sector. Your, your work speaks so eloquently of this time. 
you'll hear your voices here. The Bogon moth refuses to be ignored, no matter the state of human affairs. The Darug woman asks the wearer to become the storyteller. On a voyage to an unknown destination, subtle coded symbols embedded, plastic, disposable, single-use despair, expression to the intangible, creating atmosphere, safety, warmth, nesting, knitting, sewing, steel wire, counting, copper, colours. The combined number of connections daily between these SIM cards, burnt leaves from the beach, January 2020. Chance and control, containment and excess. This crucible, the hub of alchemy by fire, the process of burning fractures the timber grain. An exploration of all things lunar. The politics of the scrubbing brush. Becoming one in an ancient chain of craftspeople. The surviving tree's strong presence. Steel from the car wrecks on the mountain. Spatial arrangement of interacting forms. Speak about living in between. Cloaking factories, tanks and silos. Mycelium, intimacy with material. Melting pennies, embracing failures. Fragile futures, immensity, loss. A small container filled with a luminous blue wave. Work in miniature into essential form. A microscope to uncover rich entanglements. Bailing twine between thumb and forefinger until I find a rhythm. These are all the artist's words. So, to the, to the point. <laughs> the student award goes to Kira J. Power. Her work, Museum Draw Series, Melomis rubicola, attends to the loss of a species, the Bramble Bay Calomus, Melomus. Wearable as a ring, her piece combines hand fabrication and 3D scanning to result in an object that is reminiscent of an 18th century collector's archival drawer. The runner-up is Kyoko Hashimoto, Coal Necklace 2020. This work, this work is an appeal expressed with a powerful precision. Kyoko harnesses the familiar trope of the diamond necklace Linked four claw settings clasp not light but dark matter as it entreats us to attend to an existential threat. And the winner, the Contemporary Wearables Award 2021, goes to Sarah Rayner and Sophie Carnell. <laughs> Legium, Traversing the Poetry of Plants 2020. These two artists have collaborated to produce a harmonic tour de force. The poetic dialogue between the two is a call to step closer to the sensual wonder of the plant world. They support with intrigue and the result is precious, playful and complex, yet still brilliant. The very outcome that a great collaboration Weeks. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you very much, Barbara, and congratulations, everyone. I think this is actually...
very long time before the award winner Barbara or something, please. Because it's a bit exciting. While you're doing that, more applause. And hi, Sophie. I hope you're watching from. Same thing? No? You don't have to. But completely off the cuff. My heart is pounding. Thank you. thank you. A big thank you. I know you're down in um, It's been an amazing collaboration to work together to share this work. Thank you, Kim. Your words were so brilliant and beautiful. It's everything. And, and for you all to be the work interact with. It's one exhibiting in my hometown. Big thank you to the Toowoomba community, to the pre-select, my beautiful family and friends, support, Sue. It's, this is amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Sorry to put you on the spot, but that's too good an opportunity to pass up. So there's still a few people who will be anxiously waiting to hear which works that we've acquired for the Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery, Toowoomba City collection. So I'll hand back to Mayor Antonio to give us those details. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, things that have been bought by the Regional Council. Number 32, Sophie Carnell and Sarah, Sarah Rayner, Queensland and Tasmania, Florey, that was Floridium. I studied ag science at university, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, traversing the poetry of plants. That's been purchased. Kyoko Hashimoto, New South Wales, coal necklace. Number 18, Mari Harata of Queensland. Title, a series of three brochures. Number nine, Gretel Ferguson, South Australia. Long Stitch. Number two and three, Madison Bygrave of Queensland, Nara Brooch One and Nara Brooch Two. Number 22, Anki Kindle of Victoria, Order of the Katsaburst. Katsaburst. Pardon me. Uh, and finally, number 24, Elfrond Larch, a Victoria S Super Spreader series. So that's pretty exciting. We welcome those new works to the collection. Congratulate those makers. Thank you. Uh, and uh, it's now my pleasure hand over to the Manager of Library and Cultural Services for Toowoomba Regional Council, Bronwyn Herbert, just to offer us some thank yous. It's a very to thank everybody for what oh, sorry. I must thank the judge, Barbara Heath. Thank you so much for all that you've done. And thank you for the insight into the judging process because it is one of the most difficult things to do with the winners and losers. But fortunately, we've, we've had a, quite a few winners, a winner and acquisition. So that's a good outcome. Um, and it's a very pleasurable experience, I would imagine. So thank you very much for bringing all your knowledge and expertise here today to this process. So thank you very much. Yeah. And I'd also like to thank you for your support through this program and all the activities of the art. Thank you very much. Very appreciated. But most importantly to the Toowoomba Regional Art Gallery. Fantastic. Uh, 
it all happen. And uh, identify Tina, who's done the line, share of the work. Tina. I would like to go over and accept some on. So that was a great Yeah, thank you. And we need to acknowledge who, who's led the team here. She's a brilliant job. And finally, thanks to everybody who's today and who's live streamed us. So thank you very much. Thank you.